Yeah, yeah man. Just chill, ready. Today is today, man. You know how that go. <laughs> Weather. Weather's the weather, yeah. Yeah, this year gonna be fun, fun, man. It's going to be <laughs> memorial. <laughs> memorial, word, uh. word, man. Shit, crazy. I just, I'm looking at my pay stub right now. I should look in Thraka. My take home was a big zero. Like, it was nothing to take home. Like, it really wasn't. You know what I mean? It just. It was like. I'm still good, though. I'm good for the week. A nigga ain't gonna struggle or nothing like that. That's God's grace. Feel me? But it's crazy. I couldn't even imagine that for myself. Not being able to have a paycheck for the week, but still being able. But I'm still good for the week, basically. You know what I mean? That shit crazy like that. Feel me? So, yeah, this shit gonna be crazy because I got to put so much on it. I wanted to, I wanted to get a lot of things done so I can move forward with certain things. So, you know, this is what they call sacrifice. I, I gotta do. I gotta go through it. Yeah. Feel me? I'm not complaining. I'm actually excited about it, but the understanding. I don't care what people understand it or not. You feel me? I don't care if you understand it or not. It's what I'm doing for me. You dig? I am putting a lot of money into my 401k right now, like a whole lot. Um. I did take out some money at the 401k, so I'm also, um, oh, this nigga's bad. I did take, um, a lot of money out of my 401k. So, I didn't, you have the options to, what you may call it. You have the option you have the option to basically take money out and pay yourself back or just take the money out and just you know pay a 10 percent um early withdrawal out of it and you don't pay it back well i decided to pay myself back it's your money though you know what i mean it's, for, it's your money but you borrowing from yourself to pay yourself back so you don't lose value on the money that you've taken out you feel me because with that, when you put the 401k into, when you put money into 401k, you buying shares into um, whatever company and stocks and whatever value into these companies. So when you take that money out and you don't choose the aspect of paying it back, you lose value and the potential of growth. You feel me? In that basket, you'll spoon your money into. So I decided to put, uh, to give the money, put the money back in there. So yeah, I'm gonna be paying. I'll be putting like, be putting like two hundred dollars a paycheck. Rough, yeah, about two hundred and probably a little more. But not probably. Hold on, let me do the math in my head. Yeah, it is a little more. But we gonna run it off and say two hundred. You feel me? So that's going to hurt my pockets this year. And it's going to be like that for the rest of the year. And that's how I set it up. So I'm putting like 200 and change into my 401k. And I'm going hard this year. And I I made that decision last year. So my my paycheck. <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. Plus I got child support that I'm paying and everything else. You feel me? Shout out to my son. Um... And I have insurance just in case anything happens to me, you feel me? I'm not just sitting at home. I have insurance that I'm paying every other day, you feel me? So it's like when I realize, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm wilding. 
but I'm not going to cancel none of those things. Those programs are still going to be going on. I'm still going to be investing and putting money into my insurance and putting, of course, I have no choice but child support. I got to get it. You ain't got no choice, nigga, on that part. I definitely don't. What else? Medic medic Medicare, whatever they call it. Um, you know what I mean? Lawyer's fee type shit. You pay for a legal lawyer fee. I think I'm going to cancel that because I don't ever think I'm going to use that. But I'm investing in other ways, too. So that's why my paycheck was like zero. It was literally zero, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was like, I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm thinking, I didn't even bring a card. I be leaving my card at home nowadays. I'm like, fuck it, man. I got my sweatpants on with no pockets now. I'm like, fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this shit ain't even worth it, bro. Wear it up. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Got it. But, yeah, man, but so this year is just going to be a little, that's why I'm, nah, I mean, I'm, I got to uh, accumulate, not accumulate, I have to make sure I put, I have a few accounts, feel me, so I can keep track of what is going where and stuff like that. I know I like to forget about things sometimes, but I like to, you know, put money in places and just forget about it, but this year, and so much, I'm... It's like I'm I'm putting a lot into it right now, so some of those that have no choice, you feel me? Yeah, this is Yeah, some of those I just have let me show you where I'm staring. <laughs> it's just, you know. You having that kind of vision, um your vision is just keep stretching. It just is stretching, 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 stretching all the way down to the mountains. So this shit right here, when I'm like, I'm in it. Like, you know what I mean? It's just extraction. I'm just extracting everything out of it. But, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm grateful that I, it doesn't really hurt me that much. Even though having um, having that much amount of money come out your shit and you like, you're still like laughing about it. And that's just the baff baffling thing about it. You know what I mean? In the past, it wasn't like that. I would have been panicking and everything else, but, you know, preparing myself for this was something. I didn't think it would be zero. I think it would be like, I mean, give me something. Just thinking at least, you know, <laughs> two and change, you know. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? And I was I took a, the whole day off this week and kept on coming out early too, so that didn't help out. So I gotta cut that out, cut it out. You feel me? So it is what it is. That's something I gotta look into. Um, yeah, sometimes and I mean I'm a hardworking individual, but I also take time off and just relax. Where it up? And my other accounts for it to grow is just gonna take time. Feel me? I just started watering it. I just started planting these seeds, so it's like I need it to be there for at least a year. So everything else is gonna be very nice. Hopefully, God's willing. Regardless, even if the stock market or anything else don't do good, it's a good thing. Cause <clears throat> the the the. Uh, the, the fact that the stock market is doing good, that means prices are rising. So, it's much more expensive to buy these stocks now. But if it's doing bad, the, the share that you're buying right now, you can get the same share for three prices. You can buy that the ones. Let's just say a share cost $67, right? Boom. Yeah, I got to look into that too. But anyway, let's just say a share cost $67, right? Cool. You got the sixty-seven dollars uh, for this when the stock market is doing good. But if the stock market is doing bad, that same shit can drop down to thirteen dollars, and that sixty-seven dollars can buy you at least three shares. You feel me? So probably three or more. So I like when that shit is doing bad a little bit because the prices be ridiculous. But anyway, what I'm trying to say, you never lose value even if you invest it. What what that's high. Or low, you feel me? You just don't lose value, so I'm gonna just keep investing. I'm just keep. Doesn't matter. As long as my bills is paid, you know what I mean. 
just got a, a new phone too. <sighs> yeah, I had to because my other phones was acting up. My tablet was acting up. So I got me a, a new phone. I gotta know how to work this bullshit. You know what I mean? I got the, it's not the latest iPhone, but it's something. You feel me? Well, I hope y'all niggas ain't. These niggas will read your serial number. Yeah, so that's. I ain't make a baby yet, cause that nigga is just. <laughs> this is still my baby. Samsung is still baby, cause I've been. I know how to operate and everything else like that. I gotta get used to the iPhone. You feel me? Where that? Uh, but. Yeah, that's what I'm working. I'm gonna work on that right now, man. So good. I, as soon as I was checking my kill, I, I hear these niggas getting excited, and I'm like, God, that's good, man. Feel me? That's like cool, 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 good, good, good. Oh shit, that's a beautiful bird. It's the yellow. Hope you can see it on the fence. Anyway, we get a, it's a nice yellow little bird. I think it making all the noise. Is that cool? I got you right now. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, right now. Yeah, that's the yellow. I don't want people thinking, he crazy, he whistling at the bear. Y'all niggas take me too serious, man. Y'all need to stop it. <laughs> Yo, they be just exaggerating on everything I do, bro. Exaggerating. But yeah, like I said, I was checking my, when I check my paycheck, you see a lot of people who was just happy. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Like now they feel better about their own situation. It always seems like those who are in my position. I'm talking about the working class. Look at this. Use the fool. I'm talking about the working class, right? Who are in my position, who are doing the same thing that I'm doing. Basically, we working and everything else, and I'm, t I'm, I'm trying to get the game to move on to the next level. Instead of just working, you know, I just want to do these things for myself. You feel me? You know, sacrifice a little bit, you know what I mean? And uh, So, you know, you can have some money later on. And it seems like they be the ones who wants to really, really get at you because they don't want to do the things that you're doing or they seem they seem that it's difficult for them to do the things that i'm doing or they think oh he's front and he's doing this and i'm like yo you don't have to compare yourself to me you don't even have to listen in on me like you have your own life live it you feel me yeah you have your own life just live it like there's no need for you to even there's no need for that, man. You feel me? Me and you, we in the same boat. You feel me? We in the same boat. Like, if you find it difficult to pay attention and you don't want to do the things that I'm doing, it's okay. Like, you feel me? We all can't do the same thing. We just can't. That's a car. I know it sounds like an engine failure, but it is a car, believe it or not. But we all can do the same thing, you feel me? You can't, you can't try to, not me. You mad at the world, so you mad at me, so you want to make noise. Or you want to just drive and hit a nigga off the road type shit. They be trying to do that shit, man. Niggas, they be so jealous of me, and I'm like, shit, nigga, I'm struggling just like you. you feel me? Yeah, my paycheck is zero this week, but I'm okay. You know what I mean? I mean what are you mad about? Niggas gotta like, you feel me? Get your shit together, nigga. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still trying to get minds together. I still got challenges coming in front of me. You feel me? And I still ain't trying to spend all of my money like that. I ain't still trying to build. Ain't, like, you feel me? I ain't still trying to stay afloat. I ain't trying to dodge and weave all these obstacles that's being 
throw my way like wrenches in the sky. You feel me? But, like, you be in the same shit, man. Y'all gotta understand that. me so there's no need for y'all niggas to be bad at being trying to hunt me down and all that shit y'all niggas don't even know how to hunt <laughs> hold on look at this oh yeah yeah right, man these niggas are stalking me yo they be watching me everywhere I go. I swear. They ain't even gonna mention their race. We're not gonna mention their race. They are stalking me. They, they see you coming, they, they watch me walk all the way around, have people looking at you and shit like that. These niggas is crazy, me. The reason why I know that, because I've been observing the area already. I know how some people move and how they don't move. And I could tell these niggas is watching me, bro. Niggas is competing against me, bro. Look at that nigga, bro. <laughs> like nobody stands on this side. Hey, that nigga's a weirdo. It's two of them, one standing up there, like nobody does that. It's a, a parking lot, it's a work parking lot. It's weird, man. Old nigga, too. Trying to be young and shit. I'm like, yo, bro, get your life, man. Get your life, man, for real. Anyway, I think they just be mad because they be assuming the same things. Know what I mean? And when that shit don't affect me like the way it's supposed to affect me, these niggas be confused and be mad and act more outrageous. And wanna have girls do shit. Like, they be just trying to get at me on the bus on my way to the bus. When I get off the bus, it constantly have somebody watching me type shit. And it's not like somebody's approaching me. It's like they waiting for me to go to sleep or, you know what I mean? Feel docile, tired, when you, now I mean, you're not paying attention. As soon as I lose focus, then they want to move in for the attack. I'm like, yo, shit is weak, man. That's some shit that you, back in the day, but person who was acting like that, that's some shit they kept on the hush. Because that shit was so embarrassing, like, but nowadays they take so much pride in the wrong things. And it's like, that shit is embarrassing, man. You gotta, like, you can't be a coward like that. I don't know, like, it's so hard for a nigga like myself to explain the behavior. <laughs> I feel like, sometimes I feel like if I dive deep into that, Sidekick of thinking, I can never come back out of it. You feel me? It just feels very gloomy. You feel me? I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get into people's mind like that. I'm good, man. I'm good, man. For real, for real. Anyway, man. <laughs> anyway, yeah, bro. It is what it is, man. I'm still, uh... I'm... <laughs> I was young. I'm I'm still here, man. You feel me? Just, just doing my thing, you dig? But yeah, I know. I already know.
Yeah, still. Of the short thing there. Yeah, my birthday too just passed by. What did I do? Yeah, th that's when I bought. <laughs> I bought my iPhone and a tablet. Why not? I needed to. There's a reason why I don't like buying stuff because there's always a surprise. I bought that. And come to find out my paycheck was zero dollars, so I'm like, fuck, man. But I don't regret it. I'm like, ah, right, cool, cool, cool. This, this is good. This is, I like this challenge, right? This is good. <laughs> this is good. It's not like, I don't mean take, if I had a car, I'd take the tablet with me. But a tablet is just for the home purpose. And last time, too, it's like I left the tablet at home. I came back, and it wasn't charging and shit. But this time, it's like a, it's a better tablet. I don't take my tablet out with me because I already have a phone, so why would I do that? I just don't trust. I don't trust anybody in that place, honestly. So I be doing my own thing sometimes. Like, I got too many. I got too many people, like, too many people. There's too many people, like, there's too many people involved in my business. It's like, then they tell me to mind my business. Like, how the fuck I'm gonna mind my business when you in my business? So the business you telling me to mind is my business. <laughs> and I wasn't even trying to rhyme on that. No, I mean, I swear I wasn't. If I was trying to rhyme, I would have added more word that can rhyme with business. But I really wasn't. But shit crazy they be telling my I'm like yo this is my, it's my business nigga this is my life it's my business nigga you supposed to mind your business fuck what you talking about this is me fuck out of here man but they don't they don't wanna they, in their mind they're so delusional that in their mind they don't see me as a human or any like a one they just have made it okay like how can you deceive yourself in that manner that's what they're doing. They think they're doing me wrong, but they're actually doing themselves an injustice. They deceive themselves so much that they want, they have devalued the image of who I am in their mind. It could have been, it's not in my mind. It's not in a righteous person or a righteous thinking person mind. In their mind, they devalue themselves. I mean, they devalue who I am. So from their perspective, they perceiving me as something less than, you feel me? So they they have diluted themselves into thinking it is okay to do what they're doing. That's why they can't comprehend when I'm talking back to them and I'm saying certain things to them. They really think that I am part of their business. And I'm like, no, this is my business. You go mind your own business. Feel me? And I always gotta speak to them in that kind of retarded state of form and I have to speak very slowly and the words are strong. So it's coming slowly, but it's strong enough that you cannot avoid it. Feel me? You can't just mush it out the way though. These are very strong words and it's coming at you with a very strong tone and a strong voice with a black man behind it. How can you stop it? You feel me? So I just have to give it to them like that, like, like yeah, this is what it is. Like, hold, hold that. What the fuck is you talking about? You feel me? It's my business, nigga. You can't tell me that I'm not telling. Like, I'm telling you. Like, I'm telling you. That's this my business. You can't tell me my my business when I'm defending myself, nigga. It's my I'm it's my business to defend myself. Yes. Like, I mean, whether it's verbally, you know, physically or spiritual or whatever the fuck they want to do. You feel me? It is my business. You feel me? So you can't tell me my my business when it has something to do with me. It's my business. Like, you feel me? You can't tell me to my my business when I see you trying to do the same thing to me as you trying to do to others. No, I'm not one of them niggas where... Where... 
I'm that bitter that I sit back and watch other people. I sit back and watch other people go through the same thing I went through. Oh, calm down. I see you drop your man child off. They got a blouse on. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> nah, maybe we're gonna get into that briefly. Anyway, but I'm not one of them niggas where I sit back and watch others go through the same thing I went through when I could have just told them. Like, yo, this is how it's done, and this is, you know what I mean? I'm not one of them niggas. I'm not one of them faggots. So since you're so righteous, don't make me send your ass to a lot quicker. Niggas gas you to force your head, realistically. You just a worker, and your boss is my man. Feel me? Shout out to Jedekis on that. When I say shout out to Jedekis, if, if I say something like that, and I quickly say shout out to da 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 like I say shout out to Jedekis on that, that means those are lyrics and rhymes from Jada Kiss, you feel me? I mean, her niggas know we s- <laughs> we can say say things and people be like, huh? And no, if you from the hood and you black or whatever, you from the hood, you will understand right away. Like, yeah, like I actually spoke his lingo or a language. A lingo is a language. It's a form of a language. And I have uh, three more minutes with y'all. But look, man. It's my business, man. Especially when I see, like I was saying, like when I see others being treated as I was treated, of course I'm going to put that person on. They tell you, my, yeah, but no, nigga, it's my business. You should have never involved me in all your, all your filthiness and your sinister ways. Now you have to deal with me, and I'm going to let, I'm going to put other people on, and I'm going to be a defender, and I'm going to stand up for justice, you feel me? Just the, just the just cause of it. Me, but it is what it is, man. Anyway, now back to these shallow women. There's a lot of dirty women out there, man. I'm sorry to say. I got two minutes to talk about this. It's a lot, man. Now I understand why there's so many trannies and gays out there and just men or girls doing bad stuff feel me because it's like it's not even just a woman but most of the time when I do see these these I'm trying to attach the character when I see somebody doing something I watch them in secrecy like go back and forth but I always see them with a single woman that is tired been drained you feel me that's also the man's fault I can't blame it on her but what I'm seeing yeah, they're driving these things to work and shit like that. And you have some of these men, too. It's men and women, but most of the time it's, it's women. Like, you know what I mean? I see... The reason why I come at girls so much... I got one minute. The reason why I come at girls so much is like... It's like I value them so highly. And I feel like... Internally... Like... Like, there's certain things that a girl should not do. But it's like... It's like, when I say I value them, I expect so much out of them. I guess the person that raised me, I try to see that in everybody else as a woman. But it's like, every woman is not the same, you feel me? But anyway, man, I just feel like it's like the tiredness and the and the stretch. When you wore something out, right, it affects the fabric of whatever is taken care of. And I think that's what's happening in our society. We water our woman. 